think I can make this pretty short, probably. Uh, I'm in agreement that that's not a good shot. Per you know, it's not. A, it's just. It's not. Yeah. You know, why won't you? Why won't you move back a foot and a half and get three points for it? Right. I mean, it's 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 not a good shot from an analytic standpoint, from a uh, percentage standpoint. I agree with that. What I will tell you that if it's AJ or Wyatt in particular, if it's one of those two guys, then it is a good shot. You know, for our team, for what we're doing, for our team, what those two guys are capable of, that's a shot that I, that uh, that we really like for those two players. Uh, so uh, we're not, you know, we're not. Uh, uh, we're not setting up things for you know all of our guys to be shooting 15 to 18 foot you know two point shots, uh, but for as we saw yesterday at the end of the first half with Wyatt, like his pull up is you know, it's kind of old school stuff that we're talking about. You know when you see Wyatt get into that pull up, and he made two of them, and then he looked like he got bumped a little bit on the third one. Uh, and AJ, that's a you know for those two guys, that's like shooting a layup, and uh, so it goes against the analytics a little bit. But again, with those two guys and with Spencer, Spencer doesn't get to as many of them as AJ and Wyatt do. Uh, so for those guys, it's we think it's a um, and for us, great shot. Uh, yeah, it's not as good a shot for me or you. D does that does that help you? Does that help you? <laughs> yeah, not having miles. Yeah. Um, and Luke went and got one to start the game. Ty went really hard yesterday um, and got to got to one. Uh, but the difference is, so in that starting lineup, it was Miles, Isaiah, uh, Trey, and Luke. So you've got four of the five guys going to rebound. With White in the starting lineup, uh, you know his ability to offensive rebound isn't the same as as Miles. So Wyatt's going to get back, and we're going to start our transition defense with AJ and Wyatt. So we've got three guys going instead of four, and that impacts you know the number of balls you're going to get to. So not only do we have one less guy going uh, out of the five, but Miles uh, he went so hard, and he had a he just he had a real knack for finding that basketball, and we're going to miss that. Uh, so we're going to have to the guys that do go, um, and we saw it yesterday. You know, for the most part, uh, those guys went hard. Uh, but we're dealing with one less guy. <clears throat> uh, so instead of, again, four out of five, sometimes it's just going to be three out of the five. And if Spencer, Wyatt, and AJ are on the floor, then we're only going to have two guys going uh, just from a personnel standpoint. So, yeah, his his injury is going to impact us in that area. <clears throat> yeah, if, if our lineup was uh, Ty and Isaiah uh, with Trey and Luke or J.D., Yes, then we would have four guys, and all four of them would go rebound. So that lineup would would put us back with four of them going to rebound. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> At the offensive end, when JD's in there, do you, do you, have, do you run things differently because of what he brings to the floor? Tanner can't do, or is, is it still basically the same? As blue? No, I, yeah, I, I would I would tell you it's it's ninety ninety five percent the same. Yeah, there, there's. Uh, uh, and, you know, now that he's you know now that he's into the rotation. Uh, you know, we may add a add a thing or two for for him, um, and it may drop down a little bit where it's 80 to 85 percent the same. You know, we do everything the same, and we just do a you know we do a handful of, of things that are a little bit different when he's in. Uh, but for the most part, you know, and to this point, Gary, it's pretty much been the same. No. Yep. Before we see you uh, next Monday, you will make the trip to Belleville. <clears throat> Yeah, I haven't. I just I haven't seen a lot of them. Uh, their game against Illinois State, you know, with us playing Illinois State and Valpo and Illinois State had just played each other, so I watched that one. Uh, but you know, didn't take any notes on them. Didn't pay a lot of attention to to what they're doing with you know, with watching Illinois State. So I, I haven't seen them a lot. Um, I do. I can tell you from playing them last year that you know they had the two seniors, and, and I really liked the. Uh, the roster. I really liked some of those young guys that are back, and uh, the guys that they've added uh, must be doing a great job because a couple of the guys that are back are coming off the bench right now. Uh, so, however that has shook out with their team, um, some of those new guys uh, it must be doing a great job for them. Uh, but again, I just I just haven't watched them enough to be able to to say. Obviously, off to a great start, and that you know that half quarter gave them a nice jump start. You know, you know that uh, um, seems to have put a little bounce in their step. Um, 
more importantly, um, I just I liked their roster last year, the guys that were coming back. And, you know, if a couple of those guys are coming off their bench, that means some new guys are really doing a good job for them. And I do think they got some depth, Gary. I think they I think they've got a I think they've got eight or nine or maybe ten guys I feel pretty good about. <clears throat>